Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of DAX in 10. If you've seen any of my other videos on this channel, then you might have noticed it's been quite a while since I uploaded anything new. Now the reason for that is that I've been busy writing a book on DAX, which is now finished and it's out. In fact, it's been out for a couple of months now. It's called Hands-On Business Intelligence with DAX and it's published by Pack Publishing. Anyway, I'm back now and I'm looking forward to making new episodes of DAX in 10. And I thought I'll start off today by taking a quick look at the book, going through the contents and seeing what it covers. I'll also take a look at where you can buy the book from and the different formats that it's available in. So why did I write a book on DAX? Well, back in April last year, I received an email from an acquisitions editor at Pact asking me if I'd be interested in writing a book for them on DAX. My initial reaction was no. Uh, I wanted to focus on growing this channel by adding more episodes of DAX in 10 and the Power BI show. And I had some ideas for a couple of other series that I wanted to do. And I knew I wouldn't be able to do those and work on a book at the same time. However, when I told a friend about it, he made me realise that it was, I'd be absolutely mad to turn it down, and it was an ideal opportunity for me to write the sort of book that I would have wanted when I was just getting started with DAX. And I also realised that it'd be a great opportunity to write a book that could accompany this series. Well, the book's aimed at data analysts, BI developers, SQL users, in fact, anyone who's looking to utilise the power of DAX to extract information from their data and enhance their data analytics capabilities. It will help them master the use of DAX from the ground up, from a beginner through to an intermediate level of user. I've not attempted to produce the definitive guide to DAX, that book's already been written and it's about as good as it gets, but it does act as a primer to that book and it will make it much easier to get into if you're just getting started with using DAX. I've also written it so it will serve as a desktop reference no matter what your level of expertise by including a lot of the information I've found myself referring to over and over again. Although the book's introduction says that it's written for data analysts and BI developers, it's really aimed at anyone who wants to get the most out of their data by using the phenomenal power of DAX to extract new information from data that they already have hidden in their data models. The book will take anyone new to DAX from a beginner right through to what I think is a reasonably advanced level of knowledge. It starts out with the basics of DAX and ends up by looking at the formula and storage engines and how these can be used to help you optimise your DAX code. For the more advanced users of DAX, the book also acts as a handy reference and includes lots of the information that I find myself looking up on the internet over and over again. But what I'm really excited about with this book is that it gives me some great material to work with on future episodes of DAX in 10. In fact, one of the main reasons I decided to write this book was that it gave me a great opportunity to create a book that will act as the ideal companion to this series. Having spent so long away from the series, I'm really looking forward to creating new content to go along with the book and getting back to helping you learn how to master using DAX. So the main topics covered by the book include a look at what DAX is from the basics through to advanced topics and why as a data user learning it will help you gain new insights by creating new information from data that you have hidden away in your data models. Loading data into a tabular data model using Power BI, Excel Power Pivot and the tabular version of SQL Server Analysis Services. Using DAX variables with good formatting in your code and how together these can make your DAX code easier to read, easier to debug and potentially more efficient. Building tabular data models and why getting it right can make DAX easier to work with. How to extend your data models to gain additional insights. Understanding the different evaluation contexts with a look at the row context and the filter context. Learning about progressive DAX syntax and functions to understand complex relationships in DAX. A look at some important groups of DAX functions, specifically those related to tables, date and time, filtering and statistics. Learning about DAX patterns with some practical hands-on examples. And understanding how the formula engine and the storage engine work and how this quick knowledge can be used to help you optimise your DAX queries. The book itself is split into three sections. Section 1 covers the basics of DAX, along with the importance of good data modelling and how to write efficient DAX formulas through the use of variables and good code formatting. Section 2 takes an in-depth look at some of the important groups of DAX functions. 
In addition to describing the functions in detail, it offers a more hands-on approach, walking you through some practical examples of the functions in use. And then finally, Section 3 comprises some more advanced DAX topics, including a more in-depth look at the data model optimization, and it also takes the hood off DAX by looking at the storage and formula engines, and how you can use this knowledge to optimize your DAX queries. Chapter 1 starts by asking, what is DAX? It gives an overview of the DAX language, what it is, and how you can use it to create new information from existing data. Chapter 2 teaches you about using variables in DAX formulas, and how these can make your DAX code easier to read and potentially more efficient. It looks at recommended formatting styles for DAX code, and it looks at error handling, and how using variables can make this easier. Chapter 3 talks about the importance of building a well-defined data model, both from the point of view of a BI professional, and in terms of making DAX easier to use. Chapter 4 looks at the three different platforms that support DAX, Excel, Power BI, and the tabular version of SQL Server Analysis Services. It looks at loading data in more depth, along with the different ways DAX is used in each. Chapter 5 revisits evaluation context, and moves beyond what was covered in Chapter 1. Chapter 6 explores the structure of DAX syntax, and it looks at the different groups of functions currently available. It looks at relationships, aggregation functions, and parent-child functions. Chapters 7, 8, 9 and 10 cover different groups of functions, including details of the syntax of each function, as well as an explanation of how each works. Chapter 11 takes a look at DAX patterns. Each pattern includes a walkthrough involving a practical example that breaks down the code and gives a detailed explanation of how it works. Chapter 12 ramps things up a bit by delving into the VertiPack engine and how it can be used to help you optimise your data model, along with how and why this may improve performance. And finally, Chapter 13 gives some techniques that will help to make your DAX calculations more efficient, including a look at the, some of the tools to help you analyse query performance. It also takes a look at the two DAX calculation engines, the storage engine and the formula engine. Whilst the book appears to be available from a number of online retailers and in various different formats, probably the best places to find it are on Amazon or direct from pack publishing themselves. If you choose to get it from Amazon, then it's available in Kindle format or as a good old-fashioned printed book. It's also available in printed format from Pack Publishing, but if you choose to get it from them as an ebook, then you not only get it in Kindle format, but you also get it in a number of other ebook formats. In addition, you can also download it as a PDF or read it using Pack's browser-based e-reader. Also worth mentioning is that Pack offer a subscription service where, for a monthly fee, you get access to all of their books, videos, and online courses. And remember, if you do buy a copy of the book, then please let me know what you think of it by leaving a review. Well, that's it for this episode of DAX in 10. If you enjoyed this quick look at my book, then let me know by liking it with a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more episodes of DAX in 10, then hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to set notifications so that you'll be notified when I next upload anything new to the channel. But that's it for now. As always, wherever you are, stay safe, keep well, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of DAX in 10.